Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, we're doing the favorites segment, which is December favorites uh, this month, naturally. Uh, and what I want to do today is obviously share about the things that I thoroughly enjoyed, share a few updates with you and give you some apps and tools that you can go away with. Now, I actually have weirdly been doing favorites since like, February time this year, so I've almost done a full year of favorites, which is pretty amazing. So I'll be creating a playlist of all of my favorites across the last year, and I'll put it in the description below. So you can go away and watch all of the old favorites if that's something that you want to do. So without further ado, let's jump in. So a few of the updates this month, I'll keep this one very brief. The Keep Productive YouTube channel has been fully rebranded. You may have seen that the last week I changed everything, and now you'll see that change uh, across the board. Uh, so and now be referring everything to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. I have a new email, which I'll put in the description below, so you can find all of that lovely stuff there. But it's been awesome because I feel like this finally has been set in stone and something that I'm comfortable working with. I obviously loved it under my name, but sort of wanted it to grow and scale and bring the best out in the community. So it's really great to have that. So when it comes to 2018, I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of plans for the start of the year and all naturally across the whole year. I will be opening a brand new YouTube channel very soon, which we focus towards study. So those students that are watching my videos out there will have a separate channel, which will go into detail at how I think students can save time and not stress that much. Uh, so hopefully that will be a very useful channel uh, and that will come from sort of my experiences and also other people's experiences as well. I will be launching a new podcast for you guys out there because I know you love apps and tools. So this one is going to be focused about apps and tools that you can go and dive into, but specifically the apps and tools of professionals and individuals out there who are doing great things to give you some insight into different apps that you can use and different scenarios that you can use them in. So hopefully you will enjoy that one. And finally, I'll be doing more interviews, more reviews, and also I'll be looking at more sort of team-based projects as well, project management tools, so that you guys can go away and find out the tools and tips for your teams to be a bit more productive in their daily routine. Okay guys, so that's enough with the updates. Let's dive into the good stuff, which is apps. So the first app I wanted to recommend is one called Auto Radio. Now I'm very impressed with this application so far. It's a podcast and audiobook application. I'm not using it for the audiobook experiences just yet, but I'm using the podcast experience. It works available on web, which I was pretty impressed with. I can now listen to podcasts on web without having to open iTunes. I mean, obviously there's Overcast, but this app seems to work pretty well. Uh, I got it on iOS. I believe there's an Android application, but I'm so impressed by this application so far. There's a host of useful podcasts. They've obviously got the library of podcasts, but I like the recommended section. I'm finding some really awesome discoveries there and also there's a host of audiobooks that you can tune into at a reduced fee cheaper than audible i think because you get a limited amount on a subscription rolling um, naturally they've got a weird premium pricing thing but so far it's an awesome application if you're looking for a good podcast experience Next application up is Paper by 53. They fully redesigned their application. It's something that I am going to be diving into early 2018 for those creatives who like to organize themselves. But I have always been a fan of Paper by 53. I remember the first time I used it, a friend had it on their iPad and uh, he showed it in terms of like being able to use it creatively, but I really loved the design of it, the experience of it, and how well it worked. So Paper by 53 is fully redesigned. It's something I'm gonna be checking. So the next application is Notion. I've sort of fallen in Notion love this month. I'm very impressed by Notion, thoroughly enjoying it. I'm gonna be doing a full review. Although I've already done one before, I'm gonna show you a full tour of my layout so far. Hopefully uh, it will give you some insight into how the tool can be used, but I think it's pretty damn cool and definitely the iOS app is impressing me so far. And finally, at Newton Calendar. Newton is an emailing application. I work there in a the moment, but I've been so impressed. We've launched a new calendar application this month and it's really fluid design. I'll show you a few previews of it, uh, but the application uh, works really well. I love the natural language input that we've put into it. So that's a little sort of like uh, application that I think will you will enjoy. So moving on to books, um, I am only reading one read, uh, 
I'm only really reading one book this month and that's How to Stay Alive by Bear Grylls. Uh, it's a very impressive book so far. I've actually been thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, obviously got tips and sort of tutorials on how you can escape from different situations. Uh, like I was reading about shark attack situation the other day. Obviously like these situations aren't necessarily gonna happen. Some of them are very practical, but it just provides you with a different approach to stuff, especially if like all stuff, everything went wrong, fell in the ocean, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it just provides you with a useful toolkit of approaches when stuff bad happens. Uh, but I did was reading about shark attack the other day and it was saying about how you, the way that you should deter them if you're, if they're swimming around you because that's a sign of attack, you should, and I was freaking out about this, you should uh, run, swim towards them underwater screaming to defend your territory towards them and it, they will head towards you and if they back out at the last minute that means they're out but if not they kill you I mean it's mad but really good book so far really uh, important details uh, about how to survive different situations I've also got a audiobook credit at the moment which I'm saving uh, so anyone want to recommend me any uh, comments or books then feel free to pop them in the description below so just to <clears throat> So sort of a mini news segment, I have adapted my morning routine a little. I am now meditating for about 10 minutes now. I'm also reading three or four pages of Sapiens. This is based on some of the learnings that I've done about micro actions. Um, I am a really poor reader. So what I tend to do is like, if I'm not reading more than 10 pages, I don't really call that a reading session, I don't do it. But now I've sort of been doing three pages every single morning for about a month and a half. And this technique, micro action, small breakdowns, has been really beneficial for me. So I've actually been getting through this book. I'm much further than I expected, almost halfway now, uh, which I wasn't a couple of weeks ago. And I've also been doing this thing called a one to do as post in the morning, which is a morning uh, like routine. And it just has in the comments all of the things I'll do, especially what I have for breakfast. And it just provides me with a list in case I forget of what I need to get done in the morning, specifically about my routine. So it's a very small, addition but just provides me with a way to see stuff the next day without having to stress at all so i've literally got everything planned it's weird and another new segment i have modified my mac a little uh, so the setup is sort of very clean nothing on the screen now no top bar no bottom bar uh, no real uh, additional files on the screen a lovely background and i've added a new red select option so it sort of looks a bit uh, cooler than it did before I've also modified a terminal tweak in it, so now I can open up the terminal and change where my screenshots goes. Uh, I found out this using a little tutorial, so I'll include that tutorial in the description below, but I found it a very useful way to clear screenshots from my home view. Guys, I hoped that you all had a great Christmas. I hope that you'll have all a lovely new year. I will be back in the new year doing loads of videos, loads of content, loads of blogs, loads of everything, and hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, so if you're not part of the Facebook Facebook group yet do join that one the keep productive community there's over 820 people there all amazing people and it's great to have that community that shares apps and resources so guys I really appreciate you stopping by today make sure to have a great day keep productive and I'll see you guys very very soon cheers